Throughout the story, we've seen various versions of the Rasengan, each with its own special and unique power. Some Rasengans are capable of destroying an entire village, while others can disintegrate their opponents. In this video, you'll learn about the special power of each Rasengan from both Naruto and Boruto. From smaller, less offensive Rasengans to larger, more powerful ones, each has its own unique characteristics. Some have simpler powers, while others have concepts that are even difficult to understand. Giant Rasengan The first Rasengan on our list is the classic Giant Rasengan. This is a significantly larger version of the Spiraling Sphere of Chakra, created by Minato, inspired by the Bijudama. It consists of a spiraling sphere of chakra rotating in the palm of the hand. This version of the Rasengan stands out for both its size and destructive power, as its strength depends directly on the amount of chakra infused into the technique, requiring refined chakra control to manipulate and form the Rasengan. In his fight against pain, Naruto managed to use two giant Rasengans, one in each shadow clone. In his battle against Kurama, he created thousands of giant Rasengans using his shadow clones and sage chakra, generating a wave of destructive power that sent Kurama flying. In Boruto, Naruto used this technique again, first to help Boruto defeat Momoshiki with his giant Rasengan and later to defeat Delta. Rasen Shuriken, the Rasengan created by Minato is a powerful technique, but it was unfinished. Minato's intention was to add nature transformation to the Rasengan, but he died before he could accomplish this. Fortunately, Naruto succeeded in adding wind release to the Rasengan with the help of Kakashi Hatake. Known as Rasen Shuriken, this version of the Rasengan has thousands of wind blades surrounding the sphere, creating a jutsu that attacks the opponent with microscopic blades that destroy the opponent's body at a cellular level. The Rasen Shuriken is extremely powerful, causing great destruction in the environment. Throughout the anime, Naruto mastered this technique with the help of Senjutsu, enabling him to throw the Rasen Shuriken at his opponents and even create a giant version, as well as a miniature version that he used to defeat some white Zetsus. Although this technique has less destructive power, it is still useful and powerful. Planetary Rasengan After mastering the Rasen Shuriken, Naruto created a new variation of the Rasengan known as the Planetary Rasengan. This version consists of a medium-sized Rasengan, accompanied by three smaller Rasengans orbiting around the main sphere. The result is a Rasengan with immense destructive power, capable of creating a vortex that throws opponents away with incredible force and speed, easily defeating any ninja. Naruto used this Rasengan against the Tsuchikage Mu, also utilizing Kurama mode and its powers, Rasenrangan and Rasenkyugan. Another interesting variation of the Rasengan is the Rasenrangan. In this jutsu, Naruto uses Kurama mode and chakra arms to execute the technique. The Rasenrangan consists of nine Rasengans that Naruto uses simultaneously, utilizing the chakra arms to strike multiple opponents at once, surprising his adversaries with an attack much faster than the normal Rasengan. The Rasenkyugan, on the other hand, is a giant Rasengan where Naruto again uses Kurama mode and chakra arms this time to hurl multiple enemies into the giant Rasengan, saving time and surprising his foes with an extremely powerful technique. Bijudama Rasen Shuriken, when Naruto managed to master Kurama's power, he attempted to create a miniature Bijudama, but was unsuccessful due to the density of the attack. However, after forming a bond with Kurama, he was able to create the Bijudama Rasen Shuriken with the help of the Biju. This technique involves converting a Gurudama into a Rasen Shuriken using Kurama's power and wind release, forming seven giant Rasen Shurikens capable of destroying anything in their path thanks to the powers of the Gurudamas. Naruto used this Rasen Shuriken to destroy several of Madara's Chibaku Tensei, easily neutralizing the villain's attacks. Naruto can also use a miniature Bijudama in the form of a Rasen Gun. Six Paths Ultra Giant Rasen Shuriken at the peak of his power, Naruto managed to create a giant Kurama avatar with three heads and six arms using natural energy to fuse three Kurama avatars. In this way, Naruto created his most powerful jutsu. It consists of two colossal Rasen Shurikens infused with Rikudo and Senjutsu Chakra. Naruto formed a Super Rasen Shuriken in his three right hands and a Super Biju Bomb Rasen Shuriken in his left hand, also using Gurudamas to execute the technique. 
This jutsu has such immense destructive power that it rivaled Sasuke's Indra's arrow, creating a calamity in the skies visible from other continents and annihilating the Valley of the End. To this day, this ninjutsu remains Naruto's most destructive, with enough power to destroy any character from Shippuden, including Hashirama, Super Rasen Shuriken of the Tailed Beasts. During his battle against Kaguya, Naruto revealed new versions of the Rasen Shuriken. This technique is known as the Super Rasen Shuriken of the Tailed Beasts, a jutsu in which Naruto uses the Keke Genkai of each biju to create Rasen Shurikens with special powers. The Shukaku Rasen Shuriken has the biju's magnetic properties and Shukaku seals. The Matatabi Rasen Shuriken is infused with the biju's blue fire, which is hotter than ordinary fire. The Isobu Rasen Shuriken uses water style. The Son Goku Rasen Shuriken incorporates lava style, a technique Naruto used against Madara due to its immense destructive power, as evidenced when he cut the divine tree with lava style. The Koko Rasen Shuriken contains vapor style. The Saiken Rasen Shuriken features the Keiki Genkai of bubbling gas and bubble power. The Seven Tails Rasen Shuriken contains scale powder. The Gyuki Rasen Shuriken uses the Keke Genkai of black ink which also has sealing properties. The Kurama Rasen Shuriken is a giant version infused with the Biju's power. This is the technique Naruto used against Kaguya to destabilize the villain. Magnet style Rasengan. In his battle against Madara, Naruto created a Rasengan using the Keke Genkai of Magnet style. This Rasengan utilizes Shukaku's chakra to incorporate magnetic properties and sealing power, essentially making it a normal Rasengan with Shukaku seals. When it hits an opponent, the Rasengan quickly spreads the technique's seals, trapping the adversary. This is how Naruto was able to immobilize Madara the Jinchuriki along with Sasuke, sealing a shadow of Limbo, vanishing Rasengan. The next Rasengan on our list was created by Boruto by accident while he was training to master the technique. By accident, Boruto managed to add lightning release to the Rasengan, creating a version of the technique that disappears before reaching the opponent but still causes significant damage, even if not fatal. The vanishing Rasengan causes a lot of pain, especially if it hits a vital point, making it a more strategic jutsu rather than a lethal one. Compressed Rasengan The next Rasengan on the list was also created by Boruto. Due to having less chakra than Naruto, Boruto developed a variation of the Rasengan that compresses and condenses the technique to its maximum, creating the compressed Rasengan. This jutsu is known for destroying powerful defenses, completely breaking through them and creating a strong impact, capable of destroying even rocks. Boruto created this Rasengan to defeat Deepa and his extremely resistant armor, and the compressed Rasengan was able to break through that defense. Boruto can also use the super compressed Rasengan, a version that contains Sarada's chakra and Mitsuki's Senjutsu chakra. This variation can break most defenses causing a powerful impact. Wind Style Rasengan Boruto also created the Wind Style Rasengan. In this jutsu, Boruto creates a normal Rasengan and adds Wind Style, producing a green Rasengan with wind blades. This Rasengan has a characteristic similar to the Rasen Shuriken, as it can be thrown and has great destructive power, making it ideal for destroying barriers. Karma Power Rasengan Another very interesting Rasengan is the Karma Power Rasengan. This variation of the technique was used by Boruto with the help of Kawaki, where Kawaki's karma activated Boruto's karma, allowing them to create a giant Rasengan with the powerful chakra of both. This giant Rasengan was able to destroy almost the entire body of the villain Boro, a member of Kara. Rasengan Another intriguing version of the Rasengan is the Rasengan or Rasengan Bullet. This variation involves a normal Rasengan that the user compresses to its maximum transforming it into a small, condensed sphere. The Rasengan was created by Momoshiki while controlling Boruto's body, where the villain formed a giant Rasengan and reduced it to the size of a bullet, launching the attack at code and causing damage to a vital point. Uzuhiko Rasengan The Uzuhiko Rasengan is a technique created by Boruto himself. This Rasengan uses Boruto's chakra and the energy of the planet itself, including gravity, all movement energies, and centrifugal force. The Uzuhiko Rasengan is different from any other ninjutsu because its power source is the energy that moves the planet, something beyond Senjutsu, which uses nature chakra. To create this Rasengan, Boruto needs to mix his chakra with the rotation, translation, 
and forces that move the planet, which explains why this technique's power is limitless, as there are no limits to gravitational force and everything that surrounds it. The power of the Uzuhiko Rasengan depends directly on how much energy Boruto can infuse into the technique. When he charges it with little energy and uses the Uzuhiko Rasengan, the opponent is not destroyed but suffers intense pain and severe disorientation, becoming unable to stay on their feet. Boruto used the Uzuhiko with low energy against Code and claimed that Code would eventually die due to the Uzuhiko's effects, as the energy that moves the planet never stops, ultimately killing the opponent over time. Only Boruto can interrupt this connection between the enemy and the planet. However, when Boruto uses the Uzuhiko Rasengan with more energy, he can completely destroy his opponent, almost to the point of disintegration as he did when defeating Hidari with a single blow. The maximum potential of this ninjutsu has not yet been revealed. What other new developments will emerge in the Boruto manga? Here at Nerdficando, you get all the updates from the Boruto universe, along with the best explanations about everything in the manga. So, make sure to subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss anything. On the screen, you'll see two videos you'll love.